Hi, today I'd like to show you a few more of my items I've got from various places. These ones I got from an antique store, but he was closing down, so he was trying to sell them off cheap. So these two are Victorian milk glass, pressed glass, so they're actually moulded. As you can see, there's more of a, like a line down here where it would have been put into two bits. And down here, again, you can see the line, so it hasn't been blown. It's actually, so you can see the line where the two joins are. Milk glass, so it's not, it's not see-through, but a very nice pattern. Victorian pressed ceramics. And you can see it was £4.50 for two, and he was doing it for half price. So I got these for £2.25. Now, they're not my usual style, but I do like them. I think they've got a certain quality about them. They're not Georgian that I usually go for, but they are very nice, nice colour. I don't know if it can pick it up here. It's much more of a, this one on the video, it looks more blue. But in reality, it's much more of a greeny blue. So two of these little jugs £2.50. I got all these from the same stall when he was closing down. He must be into a, a blue or green phrase because this is the next one. Oops. A nice little pot. Sort of milk glass at the top and then see-through down below. I don't know if you can see, it's very nice. Again, a beautiful colour to it. And I think this was about four pounds or something like that. Nice little, nice little dish. There. And again, it looks more bluey on the camera. Again, you can see that it's been moulded because there is this sort of a line down here and the line there where it's been put together. It looks a bit off. It looks like there are two lines down there, so they're not even, but I'm not sure how that was made. And then I've got this, what does look like Italian glass. Again, not something I usually buy, but I think this was about eight pounds and it went down to four pounds, half price. So again, I thought, yes, for the style and the look, I think I'm going to have to start to work my way out of the Georgian period, because I've got lots of Georgian stuff, and start to, to look at other styles, other ages, and just go for the, the look and the quality. And I think this is a very beautiful little bonbon dish. You can put in there little bonbons or something like that. Or just have it as it is. Again, it's quite nice inside. And again, they're worth looking out at for these sort of items. The only trouble is where to put them all, where to put them all. And going back to a charity shop, you'll see in the background a bag with pandas on it. What can this be? This was in a shop, in a charity shop where we bought some other stuff that's quite pricey, but very, they are at the posh end of town. I think they get them from some of the posh people in the houses up there because they seem to have some very nice quality stuff. And so this is a silk stamp album. So it was, comes from Hong Kong. Lovely little bot bag, I mean. Let's have a look inside, see. Bag is quite nicely presented. And there's the St. Helena 
and that's the charity shop they are uh, one for terminally ill people and inside let's have a look at that so what have we got here again very lovely design now my wife looked on this out online and the last one that sold was sold for 200 pounds but auctions are very hit and miss you never know what you're going to get but it shows you that it's got quality as we open this up this is sort of i think it's got like a magnet that holds it in Again, you've got a bit of paper with some of the information about it in Chinese. And then just put you there, I'll take it out of the box. This unflaps, there's a little thing here that pulls it out of the box. So a lovely box that goes in. And there we have, again, some beautiful pictures of pandas, silk. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Open it up. Oops, I don't know through the back. No. Right, it's quite a flexible item. And so you got some writing about the information. And they're on these in Chinese as well. And this is silk. The first page, the lovely panda, all done in silk. And there you've got the stamps. Next page. And you probably think how much we paid for this. I think it was 45 pounds we paid. Which is good because, first of all, I think it's worth the money. And also when you go to these charity shops, you're helping the charities. And so this money is going to help people. So it's a win-win situation with these things. And again, it's all done on this silk. A panda there with a the bamboo. Yeah, that dreadful bamboo. We should get some pandas in their back garden because there's bamboo shoots coming up from next door who thought it was a good idea to have a, a bamboo partition. And it, it just goes mad. And it grows so quickly. You know, you can look the other way and look back and it's six foot tall. So we need some bam some pandas in the back garden if so if you've got a panda spare. Again we've got some stamps. All done in silk. Now we've got a panda on a branch. Another little 
They look very cuddly, but I believe they are quite aggressive. Not something you wanna cuddle in the wild. And this is going to be given to our son if he wants it. He said he likes pandas. And there's some information, the stamp. Any of you in who read Chinese writing there is in Chinese. The only character I know is that one with a, because that says China or supposed to be middle of, middle empire or middle world. I know it means a lot of these symbols in Chinese make mean lots of different symbols, but when I see that on a stamp, I know that means China. Again, you've got these pictures of the, very beautifully done. Yeah, because you can see it on this stamp here, the first one is that symbol. So when you're looking at between Chinese and Japanese stamps, sometimes it's difficult to tell because uh, they still use the same sort of kanji, some of them in Japanese. And so sometimes you're not sure which one it is, but if you see that, you know it's a Chinese stamp. Middle Kingdom or something like that. Another little beautiful panda there. There he is sitting down. Very cuddly. Again. Again in the Chinese. Hello panda. Beautifully made out. So you should look around these charity shops. You can find Some beautiful things, look at that. It's really beautifully drawn. And again, I've got some stamps. Giant pandas, it's Hong Kong. Again, you have it in the Chinese characters. How people can learn this, I don't know. I admire people who can read Chinese. And that is the, the conclusive, that is the end of that. So I hope that was of interest. And I hope that you think about going around the charity shops and helping them out by buying some very beautiful things. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, give a thumbs up on the likes. It all helps um, to share my pandas to the world. Thank you very much. I'll be um, uploading more videos in the next days or so. Thank you for watching. Bye.